everyone welcome back to my channel I'm Deanna and you're watching Orky D um, and it is dusk at the moment it's um, getting darker but I thought I'd just squeeze in this repotting that I've been putting off for ages this is my dendrobium speciosum and you can see that it's already got this growth coming up um, I don't know how it got so big so quick <laughs> but I've been putting off this repotting for for a while mainly because I didn't have like a bigger pot uh, but now I've gone and gotten a bigger pot I've gotten some large um, and extra large orchiata bark and um, so I've got the stuff I need to repot it so um, this is probably one of my biggest and heaviest orchids um, and to be quite frank I've not repotted the dendrobium this big before so um, I thought you guys might like to watch me faff about and um, yeah let's see how it goes um, so it's only got that growth you'll see this one's rotten um, and it's the one that my little puppy Frankie has been chewing on so he has rotted off that bulb for me um, but yeah it hasn't spread or anything we'll chop it off um, but yeah I am downstairs so I am going to unpot this downstairs um, because I'm sure to make a mess and then we'll repot it back upstairs on my back deck okay all right so <laughs> I've got a bin here and we're just gonna go for it it's not really even ground here so <laughs> a little bit of a disaster. Okay. So I reckon this is going to be quite hard to get out of the pot. I think it's been in there for quite some time. I can see lots of roots around the edge there and there's some growing out the bottom. So this might take me a while. Um, I will come back when it's out of the pot. But look at the root system. Not all of these are good roots. Actually, I'm not sure if. Yeah, some of them are good, some of them not so good. Anyway, this bark is really quite soft. Um, so I think it's been in there a while. Um, quite a few years would be my guess. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to keep going with this and try and get as much of the bark out as possible, and then we will make our way upstairs. Okay, so it's the root system here. Um, I haven't chopped off any of the dead roots yet. Now, I think we've got a little bit of a problem because this rotting pseudobulb here, I feel like that's actually a connector for two parts of the plant. And I feel like when I chop that off, I might actually be splitting the plant in two. So I'm not sure yet, but I can't leave that bulb there. It has to go. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, I'll show you what I've got over here. So I've got my pot. It's a massive pot. Should last a good few years. I've got some styrofoam at the bottom um, just to keep the pot quite lightweight and so I don't have to use as much medium. And I've got two grades of bark here. I've got super, which is the biggest, which is 18 to 25 millimeters. Um, and the next one down, which is 12 to 18 millimeters. So I'm gonna mix probably three quarters and a quarter. Um, and I've got a bit of perlite as well, which I may or may not add. I'm still thinking about it. Um, I'll probably, as well add a little bit of slow release fertilizer now it's not my usual practice um, but I think it would probably be more economical to do that for this plant because this is such a big pot what are you eating Frankie oh he's eating a leaf um, because this is such a big pot um, it would be just more economical to water it with tap water I think um, so yeah I haven't quite made up my mind about all these things but it's getting dark so we better just get cracking okay so I've got 
got my cleaned up root system here um, and I've taken off that rotten bulb and I think I was right because can you see how loose this piece is here um, and that's this here is where I chopped off the, um, the rotten bulb at the base now um, I was quite careful not to chop the rhizome so the plant is still connected just and I didn't want to separate it into two plants um, so it's chopped off above that rot there and I have put a few drops of this um, dragon's blood on there um, this liquid is gold it um, it helps to seal wounds in the place of cinnamon um, but it does I find just stop rot in its tracks I think it works really well um, now you can see here the base of this is a bit yellow um, it's still very firm though so I'm quite confident that it's just um, where it's been buried and it's not actually a spread of the rot because you can see it's the same at a couple of other bases. Um, so I've got my pot. Um, I think it's a 30 centimeter pot or maybe just under 30 centimeters. I can't remember, but it's huge. Um, and I do find, so I've only got this one new growth at the moment. Since I've damaged this like this rhizome is a bit loose so I'm kind of hoping that it shoots off and from another direction as well um, we'll see this seems to work with cat layers I'm not so sure that it works as well with dendrobiums but we'll see so I'm actually gonna pot this a little bit centrally um, the back of the plant is over here God, it's a really big plant um, so you can see the smaller bulbs here I've actually taken off a few of the teeny tiny seedling bulbs as well so um, yeah I don't think I'll take off any more at this point but I'm gonna keep this plant together and we are going to pot it maybe maybe a little bit leaning against the back of that growth there so yep now I've got Got my bark mix in here and um, it's just bark I decided not to put the perlite in um, so it's about three quarters of this super large grade bark and then a quarter with the smaller size um, and it's just going to be a pure bark mix I'm not going to put anything else into it and we'll put the plant down and we're going to put the plant down for a second. Told you it's just going to be me mostly faffing about trying to figure out how to do this. Um, <laughs> but let's put, give this a good mix, and let's put some of this bark in first. holding it in to hold those two bits together so they don't separate and hmm, how am I going to do this? All right, let's switch sides here. So back on this side because I'm right-handed and it's going to sit like that. All right, and let's fill it in.
I'm still pushing the media down firmly. Now there's always going to be big air gaps because it's large bark but I don't want like massive big gaps um, so what I'm doing is um, lifting the edge of the plant a little bit and filling the bark underneath making sure it all sits firmly so back of the plant here see how that's still a bit loose to try and hold it in place and just lifting it up a bit and filling bark underneath okay guys <laughs> that's my repot done oh, even with all the foam it's very heavy um, so I'm not going to try and lift the plant up um, as I normally do because I know how heavy this pot is and I uh, don't want to snap any of those roots so all right I guess the last step is I'm still going to put a little bit of um, slow release fertilizer as a bit of a top dressing this plant loves direct sun so um, I'm actually thinking that I might put it a bit further out into the garden and if that's the case then it will mostly be um, watered with the hose um, so it'll get reverse osmosis water some of the time it'll get rain some of the time um, and it'll get some of my fertilizer raging some of the time um, but a lot of the time it's just going to get plain water, probably tap water, um, and so I'll need that um, slow release fertilizer in there to make sure it still gets a good amount of nutrients um, to make sure that it gets nice big bulbs. But yeah, um, that's that, and I'm glad it's done. Um, and fingers crossed it does well. Uh, these are really hardy plants, uh, they're Aussie natives and um, they're well sort of acclimatized to this region so yeah i have a good feeling that it'll do well all right guys um, i hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more orchid videos i hope you guys have a great week and um happy growing until i see you next time bye